Our next guest is Representative Medina Wilson Anton, who represents the 26th district in the Delaware House of Representatives. She also holds a bachelor's degree in international relations from the University of Delaware and has long been an advocate for the rights of Palestinians. Representative Wilson Anton has led many protests and demonstrations to call attention to the humanitarian crisis in Gaza. But this week, she interrupted Vice President Kamala Harris's holiday party as the vice president was speaking, and she called for a ceasefire. Let's take a look. Representative, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, you've said that if President Biden and Vice President Harris want the support of Muslim and Arab Americans in 2024, then Biden needs to switch course. Uh, what would they need to do to appeal to younger voters and, and people who are unhappy with their stance on Israel? Stop supporting Israel's genocide of the Palestinian people. Stop arming Israel's military as they commit war crimes in front of all of us to see. Um, and just stop, stop supporting war crimes against children, against innocent humans of all ages, um, and just, you know, listen to the American voters. Israel maintains that a ceasefire at this point would only allow Hamas to regroup and commit future acts of terror. What would you propose to end this conflict, and would you consider calling on Hamas leadership to lay down arms and, and release the hostages? I'm a citizen of the state of Delaware and of our country, uh, the United States of America, which is a nation state which has to follow international laws just like Israel does. And so my protests have been focused on my own government and my own government's actions with my taxpayer dollars and the taxpayer dollars of many other Americans. Um, but what I would propose is to continue diplomatic negotiations, which have been led by other countries, unfortunately, and not by our country, um, and to actually stand up to Israel and stop letting them tell us what to do. Let's hear how the White House responded today to questions from reporters about whether Israel is acting in accordance with the law of armed conflict. If the president believes Israel is engaging in indiscriminate bombing, wouldn't there be an obligation from the U.S. to put new conditions on military aid? Every bit of security assistance we give any other country uh, always comes with the expectation that the law of armed conflict is going to be uh, respected and obeyed. The Israelis should speak to their operations, but we have every expectation, as I said to my previous answer there, that, that they will act in accordance with the law of armed conflict and do everything that they can uh, to match their intent, which is to minimize civilian casualties. Representative, your response to that? I mean, there's a lot to say. To talk about the intentions of the Israeli government, and their intention is to commit a genocide and to com commit ethnic cleansing and displacement of people so that they can take over Gaza. This is not a secret. So it doesn't take a crystal ball or, you know, some kind of ability to, to read people's minds to know what their intention is. They're very clear. They're very open about that. We've seen demonstrations nationwide calling for a ceasefire. The U.N. General Assembly demanded one yesterday. Uh, do you think that the administration is out of step with the rest of the country on the need for a ceasefire? I think the administration is not just out of step with the rest of this country, they're out of step with the rest of the world. Um, I, I believe it was yesterday, the day before yesterday, the president um, was quoted as saying that Israel is starting to lose support. Israel is isolated. Israel and the United States are completely isolated when it comes to the international stage. And to continue to buckle down on this, to double down, further isolates not just our country, but Israel, and is bad for both of our country's national security. Representative Medina Wilson Anton, we thank you so much for your time. Thanks for having me. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.